This is a, a Dake uh, number three. I think they're called compound arbor presses. There's a Dake, and then there's a number three. Um, if I read this right, it's a 12 ton and a six ton. So right now it is set up as a six ton because this is in, if you look here, and then this one's out. So you take, you know what, here, so can you just hold it and kind of, so you take this and you adjust your height wherever you want this thing. And then, like I said, this is at six tons. So then I walk around here and back up a little bit so you can see it. Mm -hmm. You grab this and you can see this, this paw moves this gear and moves it down as you can feel. So and if you want it to be a 12 ton, then you pull this, this pin out, and then you push this pin through and now the leverage changes, I guess, and it is a, it's slower. It's not, it won't go as far, but it's a 12 ton now. So, back. so that's that setting right there that moves it. Um, not sure what else to show you. I can kind of get in on the thing. You see it's a number three. This is the adjustment so how fast this goes you wheel this out or not uh, this is the quick adjustment for the harbor it's got this piece that you can switch around uh, other than that it's in really nice shape i believe that is the dig stand it is, looks like it's set exactly up for it but it does make this thing kind of top heavy so it'll be interesting to ship uh, not much else i can show you about this I don't know if that shows anything. So it's got a little weld there. It could just be crappy casting. I don't know, I'll take a picture of it. Uh, but that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Oh, I don't know, maybe that's the serial number. Can't really see it. Looks like it's been painted over a few hundred times. But uh, these have been around, I was watching the video on them, but uh, these have been around since the 1800s in kind of all different configurations. But it's overall, it's a pretty nice unit. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.